Welcome to another episode of Overtime. We are with Severe today. Yes, Savia Wheeler, um, freshman point guard here at the University of Georgia and from Houston, Texas. Okay, so Houston, Texas, what was that like growing up there? Um, originally, I'm from New York. Oh, okay. Yeah, from Harlem, New York. I moved down to Texas when I was like nine, okay. nine-ish. Um, so I spent you know, some of my childhood in New York. But uh, growing up in Houston, it's a lot different from New York. I mean, just as far as like cost of living, everything's so much cheaper. Yeah. Um, it's a lot more of, like freedom as far as land. Everyone's so much nicer, you know, streets in New York, everyone's so mean. Um, <laughs> um, but the weather, that's the most drastic thing, you know. Yeah. The Houston humidity is second to none. It's crazy. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. So how did you end up at Georgia from Houston? Like, why did you come here? Um, why did I come here? I mean, obviously your dad. <laughs> he played a major role into it. But I'm also Coach Amir uh, because when I was a freshman, right before uh, going my freshman summer, I had come into A&M. Okay. Texas A&M and Coach Amir was there. Um, I've, um, you know, after a while, my senior year, the, their staff got released and Coach Amir was here. Um, he's saying Coach King was still looking for another guard. Okay. Um, you know, I came here, took my visit. Um, the school, the school here is amazing. The campus, um, the academic opportunity you have here, and um, obviously Coach Crean and his um his development, his plan, um, his vision for everyone is something that I mean you you can put your faith in. Mm -hmm. And I'm um, just stuff after after basketball as far as like the Georgia way. You know, being able to create new life opportunities, meet new people, build new relationships. And um, that's something that also attracted me here. Okay, that's so cool. So what, you had your first exhibition game last night. Yep. What do you think? Like what, obviously it's so different from high school. Mm -hmm. What were your biggest takeaways? Um, I don't know. My biggest takeaways was, I just felt, the game felt more fun. Okay. For some reason. I don't know why. But I, I just felt like, I think it's because I spend so much time with these guys. Yeah. Um, you know, you live with these guys. And you're just always around the 24-7. I'm um, just being around and being able to do something that I love and I know they love. It, just, it, just, it was fun. It was a fun feeling. Um, obviously, we have some stuff to work on. But uh, just overall, I mean, I just thought it was really fun. It was a really cool experience. Oh, good. And then what SEC arena are you most looking forward to playing in? Guy in Kentucky. Yep. Has to be Rupp Arena. Um, you know, it's legendary, notorious. Big time, big time coach, big time players, um, you know, big time fan base going in there and get a win. That's that's gonna be crazy. That would be, that'd be amazing. <laughs> that would be crazy. So you have all new teammates this year. Mm -hmm. Who did you know coming before, like committing and coming in? Did you play with anyone in your past? Um, yeah, I knew Anthony um, from the NBA Top 100 camp. Um, I knew Christian Brown. We played on the same Adidas circuit, so I would see oh, him cool. pretty often. Um, Jaquan. Uh, from the big baller brand and to Mario also um, I knew him from the Adidas, the Adidas circuit as well okay cool and let's talk about your teammates more so who has any like hidden talents or like a something weird that you didn't know about them before Tyree what can what he can low-key sing no he can sing Tyree can sing um you won't catch him doing it often okay. kind of have to bait him into it yeah but yeah he can, he can definitely sing and um solo He's a one heck of a break dancer. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what's your hidden talent? My hidden talent? I don't know. I don't know if I have a hidden talent. I think um, my mom is Hispanic, so I can understand Spanish. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, I grew up bilingual, but I kind of lost the ability to speak it, but I can still understand it. Okay. Yeah. That's a good trait to have. Mm -hmm. Who is the cleanest player and who's the messiest? The cleanest player? I have to go to Tyree. Really? Yeah. He's, okay. he's a neat freak. You always go in his room, he's always cleaning up for no reason. Okay. You know, smells good, everything's organized. He's like O C D about That's good. it. Yeah, it is good. Are you like that? Um, to an extent. You know, like if it gets too it's a little too messy, I I start I'm like, oh my gosh, gotta clean, I'm gotta clean up. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh the messiest, I don't know if I can answer that. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> don't throw him under the yeah, bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't do that. What about goofiest player and funniest player or most serious player? Most serious player has to be Donnell. Okay. Has to be that. Red. It has he's to be he's the oldest. oldest. Yeah, he's the oldest. I'm kind of teasing him about being old. I mean, he's, we've got him to loosen him up. We got, yeah. we've got him to loosen up a little bit. But yeah, he's definitely the most serious. The most goofy. We're all goofy. Yeah. But it probably have to be solo, slim. What is your major in school? Finance. Okay, why'd you pick that? Um, I'm pretty good with numbers. 
Yeah, and uh, my dad worked on Wall Street. Oh, wow. Yeah, for about 10 years. He's an American stock uh, trader. I'm an American stock exchange. He traded stocks and stuff like that. Oh, wow. Um, so, yeah. And my dream goal, like even after basketball, is uh, to uh, potentially be an NBA general manager. Oh, wow. And so I thought finance would be like kind of like the perfect way to at least get, get a head start on just like knowing how to manage a business. Yeah. Um, doing numbers, doing stocks. And obviously being a player is what helped me. You know, coaching a little bit. So, yeah, yeah, I can see that. What's your favorite NBA team? The Knicks. Okay. We're terrible, but yeah. I'm a true Knicks fan. Yeah, well, you yeah, you gotta stay there. loyal. You gotta stay loyal. Okay, so what's your dream team to coach for them? <sighs> if you had to pick, know. you got an offer from any school or any team right now. Miami. Okay. Yeah. That's where I want to live. I want my family to move. I want my parents down there. I move everyone. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Who or what inspires you? Inspires me. I would have to say my parents. I think my parents inspire me the most. Um, just growing up and seeing them sacrifice everything. I mean, just, just, just seeing them do different occupations, working different jobs, um, like jobs that are even out of the ordinary. And just for us to have an opportunity to be what we want to be when we're growing up. Yeah. Um, that's something that, that you can't, you know, how would you say, take advantage of. Mm -hmm. It's something that's always stuck with me. Like I want to one day be able to provide for them like to have the, their best life, you know, so they don't have to work anymore. Yeah. They can just sit back and just be watching their kids succeed. And um, I think I can I can do that. So that's what inspires me. I love that. Are they going to make it to most of your games? Yeah, they're make, definitely making the big ones. Yeah. Um, They're going to come to Maui, I believe. Oh, that'll be that fun. That should be fun. Are you looking forward to that trip? I am, I am. That's a good freshman year trip. That is, that is. Um, And they're coming to the first game of the year. Um, I know they're coming to multiple other, those are the two biggest ones I know they're coming for sure. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That'll be fun for them to see you play. Definitely. So let's switch to some just like fun questions. Mm -hmm. Dream dinner table, pick five people dead or alive that you want to have dinner with all together. <sighs> Anyone in the world. Mm -hmm. Or fictional. Dead or alive. Fictional? To two? be fictional or normal. Okay, dead or alive. Five. I would have to go with Martin Luther King. Um, Barack Obama, those two, just because the way they got people to come together, mm -hmm. like their infectious spirit, um, their personality kind of just like brought everyone to you. Like you wanted to keep hearing them talk. Yeah. Um, and they always had something positive and something, something deep and something like intelligent. You always gonna learn from them. Definitely those two. Um, who else would I have? My dad, definitely have my dad there. Cause he's always seemed to have, have to know the right questions to ask them. Okay. Yeah. So. Anytime I have, a, I've had like an interview, I have to prepare for even a speech. Mm -hmm. You know, he's always looking at like the other side of things. Like, hey, what if they say this? What are you gonna say? Or well, think about this. What about this? Yeah. You know, just having that that ulterior or that second point of view to always help me. So I definitely have my dad there. That's awesome. Yeah. So those three for sure. Um, then I have to have I have to put in a superhero. I'm okay. probably Batman. Okay. Just like his discipline. You know, he's the only superhero you know without a power, and he's yeah. one of the best. So just just seeing how his mind works, you know, like his his regimen, his discipline. Okay. You know that that's something that's interesting to me. Yeah. And the last one, can I count myself? Or no, no, no I don't no. count myself. One um, more person. You're already there. Who I have? My mom. Okay. That's she a good she provides the the attraction. You know, to, hey, my mom, she's beautiful. Come Aww. come have dinner here with her. I love that. Will she yeah. be cooking too? Yes, she's a fantastic cook. That's why she's coming. <laughs> That's the only reason. Yeah. What's yeah. the best thing that she makes? Ooh, she can make anything. Like she's, like, she's very talented in that area. So I would have to say macaroni cheese, baked macaroni and cheese, cabbage, and barbecue chicken. Okay. That's, you'll fall in love after that. Oh wow! That's definitely amazing. have to have a definitely have to have a plate. What was your favorite thing to eat in New York versus Texas? I fell in love with like barbecuing coming to Texas. Okay. Because in New York, no one knows how to do that. No. It's just pizza and bagels. Yeah, yeah, Italian foods, um, like spaghetti, uh, lasagna, chicken parmesan. That's all New York type stuff. But in Texas, yeah, I have to go with barbecue. Okay. How does the barbecue compare here? It's solid. Okay. It's solid. That's good. It's solid. Yeah, it's solid. Um, I had a barbecue place from somewhere here. I think we had it during the summer. I'm not sure. 
but it, it was solid, you know. Okay. I could work with it. You can work with yeah. it. It's not as bad. No. It's not terrible. <laughs> not terrible. What else do you like to eat in Athens? Um, Grind House is pretty good. Uh, Five Bar. Yep. If you ever been there? Yeah, Sounds it's pretty good. good. Um, Jay Christopher's breakfast is. That might be one of the best breakfast places I've ever been. Okay. Yeah. That's good. So at least you have like good food while you're here. Yeah, definitely. That's good to know. Um, what's one food that you will not eat ever? Oatmeal. Really? Why? I never, never. Not even like flavors? Never. Okay. Grits, oatmeal. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can't. That's a random one. <laughs> we eat like sushi and all of that stuff? Mm, uh, I can try new foods, but sushi, I, I don't know. I haven't been able to get into. Okay, sushi and oatmeal. Sushi and oatmeal. What is your favorite movie of all time? The Dark Knight Rises. Or oh, The Dark Knight with uh, Heath Ledger. Okay. Yeah. Favorite artist and song? Like favorite all time. Favorite artist. Favorite both. I'm gonna kind of throw a little curveball, Adele. Oh. Her voice is impeccable. Wow, so is that what's gonna like pump you up for game? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you definitely have to listen to a couple of Dell songs before the game. Okay. Skyfall is one of them. Wow, that's good to know. Yeah. Is that so I was gonna ask what's like your superstition is listening to Adele? That would have to be one of them, yeah. What else? Um that's what else? Oh, okay, you I don't know how it's kinda like different now. But before every game, my mom would make me like French toast. Oh, okay. So even before the games, like she would come and bring me a plate of French toast, even in high school at late at night. So, oh, I love that. Yeah. You're gonna have to find someone else. To gonna have that. to do that. Yeah. Make it yourself. Make it. Have to make it myself. Yeah. Well, that's good. Well, I'm excited to see your future and the season and what's to come. So thank you so much. Thank for you for having me. me.